Welcome to the Trident Analyst tutorial on manual feature extraction techniques using digital imaging. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to create geospatial information from raw digital imaging gathered with Trimble's mobile data systems. Specifically, I will show how to extract geometry and add attributes to point, polyline, and polygon features, and one-to-many relationship capabilities which will be referred to as data features. I will first demonstrate how to extract a point feature. To begin, you need to activate the sequence you wish to extract information from. Right click on the group, then select Set as Active Group. Next, select the 2D Analysis tab, then select the layer that contains your point feature. For this example, I want to create information for a pole inventory, so I will select the pole layer. For information on how to create layers, refer to the Layers Management videos. Then you need to select an appropriate tool to create your 3D geometry of the pole. Use the single click Create Pavement Points tool for features that are positioned at the same level as the pavement surface. Use the Create Spatial Points tool for features that are positioned above the pavement surface. I'm extracting poles which are not at the pavement level, so I will use the Create Spatial Points tool. Zoom in on the image to help position your mouse click by holding Control and scrolling forward with the mouse wheel. Choose the location on the object where you would like your 3D position to be created. With this type of extraction technique, the software will identify your chosen position in two sequential images. A number one icon prompts for the first click on your chosen location, so I will click on the base of this pole. The software jumps to the second image of the same feature and displays the number two to prompt you to do a second click on the same place. So I will click on the base of the pole again. The 3D coordinates of the pole are now recorded in the layer. The next step is to add attributes to the position that was just created. The layer form automatically appears for the point you just marked. You can now add the attributes applicable to the feature you just marked. This is based on the information that was previously configured for this layer. In this example, I have material, height, and side offset as fields for extraction. So I will fill in these fields now. I can see that the material of this pole is metal, so I will choose this from the drop-down menu. I would also like to measure the height of this pole. I will measure it using the 3D Measure tool. Click twice on the bottom of the pole. Then click twice at the top. The height is now shown on the layer form. I will do the same for the side offset. Click twice on a point on the pavement line and then twice on the base of the pole. The side offset is now shown on the layer form. The red color shows that the attributes have not been applied yet. Click Apply and they will turn black, indicating that the attributes have been saved. The software provides tools to manage one-to-many relationships for features where there is more than one object in the same location, such as the sign attached to the pole in this example. The pole is a 3D point layer and the sign is a data record that is linked to that spatial layer. I need two record entries for this single geographical location. I have already established a relation between my pole and sign layers through the GIS tab. So now there is a second tab for the sign on this layer form. Please refer to the Creating Local Layers video to see how this was previously set up. To add signs to this pole location, click on the sign tab. Then click Add and Edit to display the layer form for the sign. Now you can add attributes for the sign. All measurements are done in 3D within Trident Analyst software. Therefore, you can simultaneously log measurements as they relate to the axis of the vehicle frame. For example, you can measure the height and width at the same time by selecting both fields. Hold Shift while clicking on the second field. Then, using the measure tool, click on the bottom left corner twice and then the top right corner twice. The height, which is defined as the Z distance of the 3D measurement, and the width, which is defined as the XY planar distance of the 3D measurement, are now filled in red on the layer form. Use the measure tool again to measure the ground offset. Click twice on the bottom of the pole, and then twice on where the pole meets the sign. 
The ground offset is now shown on the layer form. Note that you can manually add the code for the sign at this point. I skipped that part for this tutorial as Trident Analyst has the ability to automatically detect and recognize the sign depending on the type of raw data being used. Click Apply and then OK. The information for the sign is now included in the same layer form as the pole. Click OK again to exit the layer form. Next, I will demonstrate how to manually extract a 3D polyline feature. In this example, I will create a pavement marking stripe. Although Trident Analyst has functions to automatically extract this type of data, it is important to show the manual process, given its importance in the QA-QC process. To manually extract a pavement line, select the layer that contains your 3D polyline feature. I will select the pavement line layer. Then select the Create Pavement Polylines tool. And then, advance through the clip to the section you would like to mark for extraction. Because the pavement line is at the pavement level, it only requires a single click. Click once where you want the pavement line to begin, then scroll with your mouse wheel to the location you want the line to end, and click to create the endpoint. You can create as many vertices along the line as you wish. If you want the line to follow the vehicle's trajectory, simply hold Control while marking the end of the line. You can also choose to follow the GPS trace between any of these vertices or connect with a straight line. At this time, the layer form will appear. The fields shown depend on the information set up in the GIS layer for this type of feature. In this example, I have created domains for type, color, and condition. This is a double line, the color is yellow, and the condition is excellent. Click OK to exit the layer form. You can scroll back to see that the line follows the vehicle's trajectory. This can be viewed on the 3D map as well. The blue pavement line follows the yellow vehicle trajectory line. Next, I will demonstrate how to extract a 3D polygon feature, which will be a pavement patch in my example. To extract a 3D polygon feature, select the layer that contains your polygon feature, then select the Create Pavement Polygons tool. Zoom in on the image to help position your mouse click by holding Control and scrolling forward with the mouse wheel. A polygon is a closed shape with several vectors. Because it's at the pavement level, you will only need to click on each vertex once. So click once on the first vertex, second vertex, third vertex, and fourth vertex. Then right click to close the polygon. A layer form dialog for the polygon will then appear. The fields shown depend on the information set up in the GIS layer for this type of feature. In this example, I had created condition and area fields. The condition of this patch is excellent, and the area is automatically filled in. Click OK to exit the layer form. You can see this pavement patch on the clip. It is also visible in the 3D map. That is it for this tutorial on manual feature extraction techniques using digital imaging. Thanks for watching.